Hello class! So today, we will talk about incomplete dominance, codominance, multiple alleles, lethal alleles, and epistasis. These were actually grouped into what we called the non-Mendelian patterns of heredity. So, does non-Mendelian patterns of heredity debunk Mendel's laws and principles of heredity? Well, not really. They just provide further evidence about heredity, which means not all traits inherited can be explained by Mendel's genetics. Still, in non-Mendelian genetics, there are dominant alleles and recessive alleles, but their expression is not totally the same in Mendelian genetics. In Mendel's experiment, he crossed a pea plant with purple flower to a pea plant with white flower. And the result, all offspring were pea plants with purple flower. It is because one parent is homozygous dominant purple while the other is homozygous recessive white or simply recessive. Therefore, all offspring are heterozygous dominant purple carrying recessive allele for white. Remember, recessive trait will only be expressed if both alleles are recessive. So, Mendel's experiment shows complete dominance. What about incomplete dominance? Incomplete dominance is a non-Mendelian genetics in which it shows that one allele is not completely dominant over the other allele. Recalling the early beliefs of our ancestors about heredity, all traits are blended traits of two parents. But it does not work that way considering Mendelian genetics. Certain traits explained by incomplete dominance somehow show a blended trait of two parents because of the offspring that has intermediate phenotype between the phenotype of both homozygote parents. An example is an anthirinum plant or the snapdragon's flowers, in which one parent has homozygous red alleles while the other has homozygous white alleles. All offspring are then heterozygotes. However, since this is incomplete dominance in which one allele is not completely dominant over the other allele, the color of the flowers of all offspring are then pink, which is an intermediate between the two colors. Another example of incomplete dominance to humans are a child's wavy hair having one parent with curly hair while the other has straight hair. A child with medium pitch having parents that one has high pitch while the other one has low pitch. Another type of non-Mendelian genetics is the codominance in which both alleles are dominant and does not mask the expression of one another. The best example of codominance in humans is the human blood type, in which it follows the ABO system. In general, there are four different blood types. Blood type A, blood type B, blood type AB, and blood type O. Considering their alleles, blood type AB has an allele A and allele B. while the blood type O has two recessive alleles. Blood types A and B can be homozygous or heterozygous. If alleles of blood type A or B is heterozygous, then they are carrying a recessive O allele. So what is codominance then? If we cross two parents 
one has heterozygous A blood type while the other one has heterozygous B blood type, we will come up with the ratio of the offspring of one heterozygous A blood type is to one heterozygous B blood type is to one recessive O and one AB blood type. Which means A is not dominant to B, neither B is not dominant to A. So both will express and this show co-dominant alleles. ABO blood system also shows the multiple allelism, in which a pattern of inheritance involves more than just the two typical alleles that code for a certain characteristic. Our previous example of crossing heterozygous A blood type to heterozygous B blood type have resulted to four offspring with different blood types. It is because alleles that code for blood type are not limited by two alleles, but rather influenced by multiple alleles, alleles IA, IB, and recessive I. Another examples of multiple alleles in humans are hair color, hair texture, and eye color, and a lot more. The next example of non-Mendelian genetics is the lethal alleles, in which inheritance of this allele can be fatal. There are two general types of lethal alleles, the dominant lethal allele and the recessive lethal allele. The dominant lethal allele in which inheritance of only one copy of this allele will show expression. An example is the brain disorder Huntington's disease. Since Huntington's disease is an example of dominant lethal allele, it will express to an offspring that has one allele carrying the disease because again, it is dominant. On the other hand, recessive lethal allele requires two copies of alleles that carry the trait for its expression. Examples of recessive lethal diseases are cystic fibrosis and sickle cell anemia. So, for example, if an offspring is carrying an allele for sickle cell anemia, it will mask to the normal allele and therefore will not express. Because again, it requires two copies of the alleles that carrying for the trait for its expression. Because again, it is recessive. The last example of non-Mendelian genetics we will discuss today is the epistasis, in which a certain trait is coded by two set of alleles. A total of four alleles. The best example of epistasis is the coat color of Labrador retrievers that vary from black, brown, and yellow. First set of alleles is dominant E allele and or recessive E allele. Dominant E allele will allow the expression of the color while homozygous recessive E allele will not allow the expression. Second set of allele codes for the coat color. It will decide how dark the pigment will be. Dominant B allele codes for dark color while recessive B allele codes for brown color. So, the dark color Labrador might have homozygous dominant E allele and homozygous B alleles, while the brown coat color Labrador might have homozygous dominant E allele and homozygous recessive B alleles.
predicting the coat color for Labrador Retrievers is quite tricky but interesting. Can you guess the coat color of the Labrador Retriever that have homozygous recessive E allele and homozygous dominant B allele? Correct! Yellow color. Because homozygous recessive E allele mask for the expression of the dark color. How about the coat color of the Labrador that has heterozygous E allele with heterozygous dominant B allele? That's right! Dark color too! Because dominant alleles will mask recessive alleles. Incomplete dominance, codominance, multiple alleles, lethal alleles, and epistasis are some of the examples of non-Mendelian genetics. Few more examples of non-Mendelian genetics are gene linkage, sex linkage, hemophilia, color blindness, and a lot more. If you want to know more about genetics and heredity or other biological facts, you may further read or subscribe to provided the links below. I am Teacher Louie, and I hope you learned something from our short genetics lecture today. So, good day class, and take care!